Hi, we're here with Akancha Aga. She is the Assistant Director of Employee Relations. In your opinion, what is one piece of advice you can give students coming to any career fair? Oh, well, I think um, in today's day and age, networking is the number one way that you can find a job. So prepare. Before you walk through those doors, prepare. Know what you're looking for. Know what companies are looking for. Have your 30-second commercial ready and make the most of the events, you know, don't be shy, talk to as many companies as you can, even those you may never have heard of, um, and make the most of the events, you just never know, opportunity might be at the next career fair table. Great, thank you very much. Hi, we're here with Dreama Molson from Olive Garden, the Talent Acquisition Manager. So, could you give us one piece of advice for students attending career fair or any career fair, what they should do or not do when they come up and talk to a recruiter? Don't have gum in your mouth. Okay. And definitely be prepared, have a firm handshake, and know why you want to work for that company. Excellent. Thank you so much. Anytime. Have a great day. We're here with Adam Richards, General Manager from Paramus, New Jersey. Uh, can you give us one piece of advice for students who are attending career fair? On trying to get a job? Yes. Okay. What I would say is if you're looking for a job and you're looking to work for a company, make sure it's a company that you want to work for long term. Um, and if it's a company that you want to work for long term, don't think about what you're trying to make, what type of money you're trying to make. Think about the experience you're trying to get out of it. I think that's the number one rule that I took leaving college. Uh, don't think about how much money you're going to make. Think about how much experience and knowledge you're going to get through a company that you want to work for. I would say that's the number one rule. Excellent. Thank you so much. Anytime. Hi, everyone. We're here with uh, Chef Stuchel, Senior ex -Ed Coordinator. We're going to ask him some uh, piece of advice for career day. So you have some tips for us for the students on any career day? Any career day, um, to make sure that they've done their research before they even show up to the career fair. Know what companies are coming, um, kind of get a target list of what companies they want to see as soon as they get in here, and then to expand to the other companies that are potential as well. Make sure they have a resume, but don't be disappointed if a company doesn't want to take your resume from you, because with the internet law, a lot of companies won't take your resume from you. They're going to ask you to go online and apply online, and that's how they'll get your information. Um, make sure that you have your elevator speech of uh, who you are, um, what you're looking for when you're graduating, any work experience you have that kind of sells yourself to that recruiter immediately, because they don't want you to walk up to the booth and say, what do you do? or what are you hiring for, you need to know that information before you get there so you can, the purpose of meeting them is to sell yourself. And then always follow up with, are you interviewing, um, take a business card and see if that you can, if there's a way that you can get in contact with them and start your network. Networking is key. You need to start your networking at all the career fairs starting from your freshman experience, going through your sophomore, junior, and then by the time you get to your senior level, you should have a full network of relationships of companies that come onto campus. Um, every career fair that we have. Okay, what about an advice for what not to wear or what to wear? What not to wear is simple. If you look like you're going to a party, if you're looking to go into your friend's house, you don't want to wear it. No t-shirts, tennis shoes, jeans. You want to be in professional dress, a suit, dress pants, blazer, um, tie if you're a gentleman. If you're a lady, the jewelry, keep it minimal. Gentlemen, no jewelry. Um, and make sure that you just look presentable, you're not overly perfumed and that you give off a great vibe. You don't want to be very low in your enthusiasm, but you want to make sure that your nervous is a positive nervousness, that you're ex presenting a great um, representation of yourself. Excellent. Thanks for the advice. We really appreciate it. Thank you.